right, today we've got Lindsay again, and remember Lindsay's got a lumbar disc injury, but she's recovering well from that. And we're just gonna show you today about how to stretch your glutes out safely when you've got back pain or a disc injury. Because traditionally when you stretch your glutes out, people tend to make their back go into flexion. So if you do a glute stretch for me, Lindsay, so you'd cross, say, one leg over, go into there. Now, that does stretch your glutes, right, and other hip muscles like external rotators, but what happens is she's gone into flexion in that, and when you've got an acute back problem, it's not so great. The other thing, too, is she's not getting a maximum benefit out of that. She really needs to be back into here, into this position here, to stretch her glute out, but then she you know, it doesn't get as much stretch because he wants to be in a neutral spine position. So if you look at this here, we want this not flexing. So as soon as she comes up into here, she goes and imprints her back and drops her back into flexion, which I don't want people doing. So the best thing to do is to get a, like you can do this on your sofa. Um, so pretend this is like your sofa at home or a box in the gym or a bench or something like that. What she can do is she can put one foot up on there. Okay, so into here. And then try to maintain a neutral spine, put one leg over like this, and then both hands on the inside of a knee and push out, bring the other one as well, into there to get her glute stretch there. Um, and then she's got to try and maintain that neutral spine. So she's still got, almost got to lift her back up a little bit to get there. Now some people can't really do that, okay? They haven't got something like this. Um, but it's definitely the right way to do your glute stretch, okay, rather than coming forward. The other way you can do it to try and um, maintain a glute stretch and a lower back stretch is to have um, one leg straight when you do a stretch. So what I mean by that is if you're going over this way and you're rotating and rotating your back out like that, some people don't like that when they've got a back injury, so the best thing to do is have one leg straight and that'll keep her in extension so when she comes up, let this come over and then she can get a glute stretch with her rotation. So this is really good for lower back patients and having this leg straight like this keeps in a relatively neutral spine there, whereas if she was bent up here, she's gonna go into flexion, which we don't want. So having this is a really good option for her. Now, if you um, want to sort of advance that stretch a little bit more, what she can do is have herself up into here, and now have the sofa over here. So if you imagine what she can do at home is put her foot here like that. And what this allows you to do is the closer this is safe up here, yeah, okay, the more, <laughs> the more stretch she's gonna get. She's really gonna start working on all those muscles in the back past the posterior hip into there. And then she can add on a little bit of pressure this way, okay, or she can come over and bring it this way. So she can work on the mobility of the hip in that position and having that leg straight like that is going to keep her in that neutral spine which is exactly what I want and allows people with disc problems to stretch their glutes out really effectively without making their back sore or making their disc problem a little bit worse. So that's a really good option for you to do for that. Um, the other thing I want to go through is the pigeon type hip external rotations. Just so have a stand up, Lindsay. What a lot of people do when they stretch say a pigeon stretch like this, is they come in here and they come right down and, and lean right over like that. Now what that's doing is rounding the back out and it gives a good stretch here, but again, acute disc patients or back pain patients is not the greatest. So Lizzie, come over here. When you do an external rotation hip flexion stretch, so if you come up into there, what she can do, and again, make sure that this knee is like at 90 degrees there, is she's got to maintain that neutral spine. And actually, when you do maintain the neutral spine and, and get that hip, so like the pelvis rotating this way, so rather than coming the other way, so rather than that way, you wanna be that way, she'll get more stretch there, all right? Now, to increase the stretch, she's gotta come forward, but I want her to come forward at the hips, so you're getting more hip flexion, which is what you want, so Remember, this stretches hip flexion, which is this angle here, right? Not 
not lumbar flexion. You want lumbar neutral and hip flexion, which is increased in this range here, and she's got that external rotation. So that's why they call it a hip flexion external rotation stretch, because her hip is externally rotated. All right? And that's a really nice, and that just hammers it, you feel that, yeah? That's hammering it through there. And this is great for back pain, because the more release and mobility you get through the back of the hip, the happier the back is. All right? So that's an awesome way of doing that stretch. And you can advance that by going on the floor. So if you've got more flexibility, do that on the floor as well without the box. You just have to have more range in the back of the hip there. Okay, that's it.